Beautiful. Bingo. Right. I won't teach you that in law school. <laughs> hey, Inspector Clouseau, we have work to do. I am working. I'm looking for security devices. What, his detectors might detect our detectors detecting his detectors? Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, this is going to be the place where Travis does most of his dirty work, right? Right. So it makes sense that he'd have some sort of security rigged up. I mean, if I was running for DA and working for James Stenbeck, I would be covering my rear as well, right? Yeah, the infamous Mr. Stenbeck. You know, I'm, I'm curious to meet the man that has been terrorizing small-town America. I am. I mean, on a monitor from the safety of a back room, you know. But I'd like to see the guy everyone says that I, I've been working for. Isn't this thing amazing? Come here, look at this. Just love it. This is 007 or what? Works like a camera. Looks like a smoke alarm. Voila. Well, listen, Q. Travis <laughs> better buy it. That's all I'm saying. Hey, why does he just put this baby up there, replace that one? I'll never notice yeah, the difference. Yeah, we hope, we hope. Hope, hope. It's skill, you faithless kangaroo, you. Skill. <laughs> See, he hasn't even discovered the bug in his hotel room yet, has he? I think that's the point. I bet Travers found out that his hotel room was bugged. Uh, why do you have to find the bug so soon? I'm going over there. Excuse me? Well, if I can get him to say something incriminating before he rips out the listening device, then... If you think you can get past me, good luck. Aaron, Caleb and I have been talking things through. So, am I staying, or are you making me go back to Seattle? It's been tough, Aaron, but I've made a decision. Dad asked Holden to let Aaron stay. Oh, oh, how did that come about? A little arm twisting. Oh, but done ever so sweetly, I guess. Yeah, but I don't know if it did any good, though. <sighs> Darling child, the power of persuasion is in your blood. Now, why are you doubting your efforts? Because after everything I did to bring my dad around, now it's my uncle who's keeping Aaron and me apart. I mean, Holden was always on our side before, but now he's the one who's sending Aaron away. Darling, you must have faith. As the fella said, it ain't over until it's over. And what sourpuss is gonna diss a, a real hero like that? Oh, heavens. At this hour, Matthew's out tonight. Oh, you know what? I'll get the door, you get the phone. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. An executive decision. I love that. <laughs> Hello? Lucinda, hi. Uh, this is Rosanna Cabot. Rosanna? Why, it's... It, it, <clears throat> it's only been hours. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Well, nothing. <laughs> I'm just calling to, um, congratulate you. I hear congratulations are in order. Congratulations? Yes. Uh, the Women's Leadership Council is naming you Woman of the Year. I'm always Woman of the Year. Well, yes, in any event. The council got wind of your rather generous donation to the Memorial Burn Unit, and they are taking it public to honor you. They will do nothing of the kind. Anonymous means exactly that. It means anonymous. Look, why don't they nominate you for the council, darling? Because you certainly made that pledge, didn't you? Of matching funds after your last prying phone conversation? <laughs> uh, well, I, um... Just as I thought. Now, look here, Miss Cabot. You stay out of my business or I'll sick my lawyer on you. He's cute and he... he... This is harassment. I didn't mean to listen to him, but was that Rosanna? Um, Rosanna, yes. What the hell did she want? The young Dr. Hughes likes to pretend he's not ambitious, but he's got Albert Schweitzer's biography under his pillow. Not? Oh, that's right. It's Daddy's bio. By mistake. 
<laughs> Blasted. Uh, you know, if my father were Bob Hughes and he was grooming me to lead you know, Memorial Hospital for the next decade of medical marvels, right? I don't think I'd be so modest. Uh, I'm not being groomed for anything. Oh. And if you think that, <laughs> you just don't know my father. Dr. Bob does not play favorites where the hospital's concerned. Young Dr. Hughes. It's time we met. Barbara, Barbara, just calm down and listen to me. This woman has just told me that my son is lying in there with unconscious with a head injury, and you dare tell me to calm down? Now you tell me where Will is, Al. I just told you he's being admitted to intensive care. You were supposed to be watching him. Where were you when your little brother needed you? I was late picking him up, that's all, but he wasn't alone. He was in the barn playing with Luke when the fire started. Oh, my God. It's like my own nightmare being played out of my son's life. I... Get a grip, lady. Will's the one that was hurt, not you. Allison, Allison. I think what Allison is saying is that this isn't the same situation, Barbara. Will doesn't have any serious burns. He had a CT scan. We're waiting for Dr. Harris to read the results. Ben. Ben, please tell me you can help him. Please tell me that We're he's going to be okay. We're going to do everything that we possibly can, Barbara. I've already asked the staff to prep Will for surgery. That is, with your permission. 